Hey everybody, it's Kira and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my reaction for bookmarked chapter. I didn't even check and see what chapter it is. Um, but it's the one on rec on recommending books as presents. So I'm doing this kind of late, I know. Um, but I am super excited. It's 59 minutes long, so I'm going to try not to make my video that long. Um, I don't know how many comments I'll be able to make because they're just recommending books. Um, but I'm excited to see these girls hang out because I always love watching them interact. It's just so fun. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hello everybody. So welcome to Zoe's dad to is in the corner. Chapter 10. Today we are going to be talking about gifting books. I know there was some confusion on what that meant exactly. Um, but we're just talking about like books like recommending books that you can gift to your loved ones. Um, so if you guys have like a person that you need to give a book or you want to give a book to really like a gift, um, we're going to try and recommend books to you guys that I might be them. helpful for you. Um, and anyone in the chat can also recommend books too. So we're just going to be talking about books and recommending them all around. Um, so I am Hannah. You're on my channel. I forget what the order is now because we mixed it up. Right now. Okay, <laughs> I'm Haley from Haley and Bookland. <laughs> and I'm Zoe from Red by Zoe. And this is my dad. And this is my dog. <laughs> They're going to recommend some books today. I also wanted to uh, mention that um, Appa is here <laughs> joining us for this live show. What is Zoe that? Zoe got this for me for my birthday slash Christmas and it lives with me now. So yeah, he's also here. <laughs> okay. That's what I was doing last night. We were watching no. Avatar. Avatar. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh, it's from Avatar. Okay. And Zoe came in and she says, guess what I got Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, we should talk about what we're currently reading. Oh, yes. So um, you're on my channel. You may have seen the video that I uploaded today. It's literally all the books that I'm currently reading. But as I was going to grab the books off my shelf, I forgot everything that I'm currently reading. Um, so I only grabbed two of them, and I have the audiobook. Wait, 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 just replay your video? Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> um, but I am currently rereading Vicious because I want to read Vengeful, the sequel to it. Um, I'm also reading A Winter's Promise. This is a book that's translated from French to English. Um, apparently there are three books out in the series, I think, right now. This is the only that one that's been really translated. Um, but everyone says this is like the most popular like YA book in France. Um, so I'm really excited oh. to try it. And then I'm listening to Circe by Madeline Miller on audiobook, which is I so need to good. Read that. Um, and then, oh, the other one was Hey Kiddo, which is a graphic novel that I just finished, so. Does anybody actually uh, uh, speak or read enough French to actually read it in the original? Well, people from France. Well, <laughs> of course, I'm talking about <laughs> you. Don't be smart to your father, Zoe. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> 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 you see oh. what you know, she was she's been off at school for four and a half years. <laughs> you guys have actually seen her more frequently than I have. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, didn't mean to derail the. <laughs> oh no, all good. Um, I'm currently reading nothing because I've been working really hard on book miss videos, so I haven't had the chance to pick up a book. But this Friday, I'm doing my 24-hour Christmas readathon, so I will up. have to read then. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them how many videos you edited today. I edited did it six? Yeah, six videos wow. today. I've been That's filming like five videos a day for the past like four days. It's been a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. lot. Uh, you have to give some pointers to Zoe because I know <laughs> she'll record in like an hour and then takes her five hours to edit that same that same video. <laughs> that, to be able to edit uh, six in a day. And her videos, you know how meticulous yeah. she is. So she she has to be perfect. Yeah. Where are you talking? What are you currently reading? Because <laughs> <laughs> Zoe was up at school, and of course I saw it because she told me. Um, Did you go alone? I did go alone. You went to a rom-com alone? I'm so I sorry. I did. It was... <laughs> I'm a sad middle-aged man <laughs> to do that. Anyway, so I went... To, I, I came back and so asked the same thing she just did now, and she said, 
of course, you have to read the book. Yeah. So um, I started reading the book, and last night I stayed up way too late, and you can see I'm about half half done with it. And, you know, I get up very early in the morning at between 4.30 and 5 each morning to go to That's work. That's early. So staying up late is not a good idea. Um, but you're also listening to an audio book, I'm, I'm Heartless. List, well, I'm list, well, besides that, we also have the... Oh. Uh, I'm list, I am listening to Heartless. We're reading rereading Lady Midnight together because... Queen of Air and Darkness just came out, and we both completely forgot what happened in the first two books. And I also wanted him to read with me, so I wasn't alone. But. Well, of course, before we read the latest one, we want to get caught up on the story. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> and I want to read all remember. of the um, novellas in the Ghost in the Shadow Market. Um, Which I've already read. You've already. Read. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well, you know, I get on that, I get in that, that groove on that grind on that, for that, that for that series, and you just have to keep going. <laughs> I love Zoe's dad. Oh my world. goodness! <laughs> well, what are you? You're... Oh, the other one was Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Yes. <laughs> I love that book. You read all of the um, Lunar Chronicle books. I didn't even tell him to. He just was like, I don't ever read them. Amazing. It was recommended by, I, I actually uh, listened to my audiobooks, uh, uh, most of them through our local library. And mm -hmm. from the other series that I've uh, I've listened to, it makes recommendations. And that was one of the recommendations. Oh, you didn't hear it from me? <laughs> <laughs> Who has read it? <laughs> okay. Anyways, I, this is so fun. I love this. Um, I am reading Marked by Jordan Page Suddeth right now. Um, I'm not loving it, honestly. I feel like you can tell that it's written by, uh, how old was she, 15? Yeah, she was 15 when she wrote this, and you can kind of tell she's trying really hard to not just say what's going on. She's using lots of metaphors and turns of phrases that don't make as much sense and just seem like she's trying, but... The story is interesting, so I'm going to keep reading it. Um, I'm going to finish it because I want to support people that I like. Um, anyways, we'll get back to this now. This is so fun. I love this. Uh, everyone wants you to make a YouTube channel. No. <laughs> you probably be better at it than I would. You'd be better at it than I would because apparently I'm too much. Well, I mean, we, have, we seem to have double you know, speed demon at editing compared to me. <laughs> At least I'm impressive compared to one person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, a lot of people have been asking for books for people who don't read. So, and a lot of people were talking about for people, older people who don't read. Like, an uncle who doesn't read or something like that. You know, That's not the point of this video, I Dad. know, I'm trying to read it. <laughs> You have to give me an example. Um, he watches sports and sports and sports. So, I'm... I think if you were to, to recommend anything for him to read, it would probably have to be sports related mm -hmm. of some sort. Um, I'm, you know, I it's like an action pack packed book. Cause I feel like it'd be a lot of action and, um, well, it also depends on what kind of action. I mean, you could, you <laughs> could go to genres like, uh, the lead child, uh, series on Jack uh, Reacher that they've even made into movies. That's a lot of action. But one of the things that people, what they don't show in the movies that are in the in the books, there's a lot of death. There's a lot of killing. There's a lot of well, violence. I, I feel like Uncle Jerry would like that. He know? might, especially since what does he do on most weekends? Kill people? What? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know that your Aunt Terry is now going to show okay. him this. <laughs> You're setting it up. No, he's hunting. We're hunting and fishing. My, oh, go ahead. Sorry. My usual thing, because I get this a lot at work, is a lot of times we'll have kids who come in who don't want to read. They're not big readers at all, or really, and this applies to anyone of any age group, but particularly it usually happens with kids who are dragged in by their parents to find a book, whether it's for a project or something. My recommendation is usually to find something that they've seen a movie of. Because we always say, like, read the book before the movie, but for someone who's already familiar with a movie, reading it in a book format might introduce them to a whole new medium of the story and then might get them more involved in reading. So, you know, it's a storyline that they're actually interested in. It's just a different format of 
being introduced to it. I strongly agree with that. There's one thing that I would I would suggest that's a little different than that because kids having raised <laughs> kids, they yeah. would much rather, of course, watch the movie. But what about a book that's part of the series but is not been made yes. into a movie yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so great. Yeah, familiar with with the characters and and the uh, the world that it's written in and everything. That way, it just continues the story. Especially, of course, if it's a if it's a movie that they enjoy. And if For it's sure. like a close adaptation, because if, yeah. it's, <laughs> if it's taken some liberties, like the Lightning Thief, then probably have them reread the first book. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think a really good one for people who don't like to read one that I always recommend is the one that I'm rereading right now, Vicious by V.E. Schwab. There's but actually a lot of things out right now, like how DC mm -hmm. Comics has like the um, Icon series, I think it's called, where they have like Catwoman, Soul Stealer, Wonder Woman, oh, Warbringer. Yeah. There's a lot of things where they're taking characters, like I think Assassin's Creed also has something like that. Um, I know there's a Marvel one, but if you're trying to get a young kid to read, then I think go for something where they might be familiar with the character because there are actually a lot of books that it's not anything that has been a movie or anything like that but it is still a character that they would be familiar with so if someone's into superheroes i just thought of that because you mentioned vicious and superheroes um the dc icon series would be a great one because it is like superheroes that they would be familiar with oh here's a good one from estefani farfan in the chat are you watching YouTube no. while we're? Oh, yes, yes. You're, you're currently reading video of, and it was oh, yeah. <laughs> She just went through what she's currently reading, giving you that ad revenue, though. There you go. <laughs> Estefani asked, "What about retellings for people who like Disney?" Oh, there's actually um the Disney Twisted Tale series. Yeah, Twisted Tale. So they have yeah. like I have the Little Mermaid one which is like what happens after The Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. So things like that would be good too for someone who's not a reader, like obviously. Um, but there's also a Mulan one, there's Beauty and the Beast. There's, Beauty and the Beast, yeah. There's a lot of them. I can't remember. I think there's an Aladdin one as well, but there's a ton of them mm -hmm. and those would definitely be really good. But also something like Heartless. Like anything where you can find characters that you're familiar with but in a different sort of format because it's all based on fairy tales a lot of the times most disney movies so find those fairy tale retellings and those would be good i would also recommend um i almost said the outsiders that is not what i was going for uh, the kingdom keeper series so the first one is called disney after dark um by ridley pearson and it's about five teenagers who um are hired by disney to be um, interactive hosts so they like scan them and they become holographic hosts for like tours throughout the park but then when the kids go to sleep they wake up in the parks after dark um, as like half hologram and half human um, and then you find out that like all of the characters are real and all of the villain characters are trying to take over the parks so they're not like retellings but they're for they're really fun if you know a lot of Disney um, and enjoy Disney and seeing characters pop up like that and like have them be real people. It's a really, really good series and I really enjoyed them. What's the best retelling that you've read? Because there are so many out there, there are so many. and I can't even, the only ones I can think of right now are the Lunar Chronicles. Why is it that always the case? <laughs> um, but there's. I feel like I haven't I read many retellings. Oh, I think a good one would be, it's not a retelling, but uh, Every Heart a Doorway. I think that oh, was McGuire. Those are really short too, mm -hmm. but because it's like what happens when you come back from like Wonderland or something like that. So it's not really a retelling, but it's a different look at a similar concept. And it's There's pretty action There's actually a book too. that just came out that's like basically that exact same concept. Uh, the Light Between, Between Worlds by, by Laura E. Waymouth. That one is, it I seems like it's that Narnia book. that they're basing it on because oh. it's uh, like, it says that they returned to um, London during the Blitz. Mm. So that's one I want to read. But yeah, something like that where you get those same fairy tale feels. I feel like my favorite retelling is Heartless, but I mean, I also have an affinity for that because of Alice. So. Right. <laughs> Uh, Michelle Fumagalli in the chat asks, what graphic novel do you recommend for people who like history? 
I really liked Persepolis. Yeah, Persepolis is amazing. I've read the second one yet. Have you read the second one? Yeah, yet? I've read the second one. Have? You oh. bought me the second one. I it for you, yeah. And then I yeah. bought it. For you. <laughs> I haven't read it yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, I really liked Mouse by Art Spiegelman. That's a really intense and difficult one, but it's one that I think is important and it's a really good read. I enjoyed that one, and I'm not really big into graphic novels that much, but that one I did really like. I had to read that for school. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. So did I. <laughs> I had to do a whole paper on it, but yet I still enjoy yeah. it. That shows how good it is. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's another one. It's not about history. It's more about um, like kind of mythology and world religions that I read. I forget what it's called. Um, I have a copy of it at home. And of course, I don't remember the name of it right now. Um, but I'll, I'll look it up. But um, yeah, it's about like mythology and world religions and they're all kind of like combined into one. So you do get a little bit of like history in it as well, as well as like a little bit of like a fantasy vibe. It's really, really good. I'll mm -hmm. find the title. Cool. Um, while you're looking, um, let's move on to Dylan from uh, on here on YouTube um, asks, uh, need some recommendations for high fantasies that are easy to get into, not urban or paranormal, which is something that I want to know too, because that's going to be me next year. I got you. There you go. <laughs> um, an Ember in the Ashes. Yes. Super easy to get I into. I love that it one. Almost like urban fantasy, but it's not. It is high fantasy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, great characters, an amazing plot. My Talks dad about loved a lot of, that like, one too. Social issues and political issues. It's wonderful. Um, why am I blanking on absolutely everything now? I got the title of the graphic novel, by the way. It's called The Encyclopedia of Early Earth by oh, Isabel Greenberg. Yeah, it's very good. I don't know if uh, anyone would be interested in any uh, in some of uh, some of those, but of course, uh, for fantasy, just for fun read, is always the Terry Pratchett uh, Discworld series. Mm -hmm. um, other uh, good fantasy novels, as I had mentioned to uh, Caitlin V on, on here, uh, she was asking about uh, ones that have dragons in them. Okay. And uh, one series that I've always liked is the Dragon Riders of, of Pern. Continues to write on it today. So the Dragon Riders of Pern, again, it's it's more one that may be uh, better to read them in order. Because, of course, as with any of them, it builds uh, mm -hmm. as you go, go through. I have another, like, good fantasy um, if you, high fantasy, if you want to try and start getting into it. Um, I think the Truth Witch, Truth, I can't speak, Truth Witch series is very, very good. Um, and very underrated. Like, I feel like it has a strong following of, like, the people who like it, but I don't feel like it's, like, as well loved as <laughs> stuff like Throne of Glass, but I think it's infinitely better. Um, it blew out, it blew up a lot when it first came out, and then you stopped hearing about it. When the yeah. sequels came out, you didn't hear anything mm -hmm. past the first book. Oh yeah, people are talking about Shannara Chronicles, which I don't actually That's know. A TV I watched show. the first episode of that TV yeah. show. I don't actually just because Austin Butler, whatever his name was, <laughs> and I think he's cute, and that's the only reason why I watched it. But good to know the books are good as well. People are asking about urban fantasy now. The Diviners. Yes. The Diviners. Yeah. It's so, so I've only read the first one so far, but it's like it's the perfect spooky book. Um. And then there's Guards Guards, which I've lost the dust sleeve. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and this introduces the um, the, uh, the the guards guards <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> flatfoot of, of the the of uh, Ant Mork Pork. Ant Mork Pork. Mork Pork. That sounds like that Muppet song. <laughs> More fantasy. Uh, yes, this is Zoe. Christopher Moore series. Exactly. Each one of <laughs> yeah, these are more adult. <laughs> and yeah, I'm not gonna uh, show the cover. Ooh, 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 scandalous! But they're, they're there's another good question on uh, Twitter from Cora Godfrey, and they asked, "My best friend is a fan of contemporary novels, and I'm not, so I don't know what to get her. Do you have any recommendations?" My time to shine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, come back. <laughs> Um, well, are you sure you you two don't share a uh, we do. <laughs> share a channel? <laughs> we do. Um, turtles all the way down. Turtles all the yeah, way down. Turtles. I'm just saying all of Hannah. <laughs> yes. 
all of Hannah's favorite books. The Astonishing Color of After is amazing. I know Hannah loves that one too. I haven't read that one yet, but it's sad. Yeah, it's so it. good. I'm a little bit more sad. Covered all the bases there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give you a little, a little taste of everything. I love it. And Casey, is it Cassie West or Casey? Casey West. West. Casey. Cassie. I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I listened to the audiobook, and I think she said, "No, it's Casey. It is Casey." I'm trying to yeah. think of what I say. Yeah, it's Casey. I'm sorry. <laughs> Someone that was else really said funny. it the other way, and I was like, "No, that's wrong." And then they continued to say it, and I continued to get annoyed. <laughs> but then I just did it. So, <laughs> um, on. Twitter again, the I don't know this person's name. Slytherin reader rocking around the tree, I think is what they're handling. Amazing. Um, Amazing. Uh, any poetry recommendations? Um, already read Amanda Lovelace and Rupi Kaur, preferably books that are lesser known. Um, I'm going to recommend a novel that's written in verse, which is The Poet, poet X, X by Elizabeth, is, yeah, Elizabeth so Esvito. Um, I totally so said that wrong, but yes. Is it audiobook too? too? Yeah. yeah, the audiobook is read by the author. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, because she does spoken word, I think. Yes. Um, yeah, so she narrates it. Multi Alexis234 asks, do you guys know any music books? I need a gift from my piano teacher. So I'm guessing books uh, with music in them or, or where books the, of music? Or where the plot is driven <laughs> by, mm -hmm. by music. Oh, does this song will save your life by Layla Sales? Wait, what? This song oh, yeah. is Your Life by Layla Sales. I haven't read that one yet. It's really good. It's another good contemporary. Um, it deals a lot with mental illness. So like that's one of the main like topics of the story. But um, it's about this girl who falls into kind of like a DJ scene and she gets really into DJing and she loves music. Um, and it basically saves her life. It's a really, really good book. Huh. I know that I haven't really read any, but I know that Murakami has one on music, and that one seems to be pretty popular. I've seen that one quite a bit, um, but that's really my only one. I don't have many. That's a really good question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Trying I don't know why I picked that one because I don't know of any. Yeah, it's a hard one. Oh, Tuck Everlasting has a musical oh, version, and I so know that the next Tuck book is always good. by. Um, Taylor Jenkins Reid follows a yes. rock band in the 70s. Daisy Jones in the 6s. I am so yes. <laughs> Of course, when, when gifting, especially since that's your topic here about gifting for the holidays or something, I would imagine that, that most people are going to actually give a physical book. book. But mm -hmm. you can say, you can send Kindle eBooks. Sure. So I'm just wondering what, what the preference is uh, for and not for gifting, but for receiving. If you if you were to receive one, what's your prefer preference, digital or or print? I like oh, yeah. and if physical. You, if you don't know <laughs> what I do for a living, I'm actually work for one of the publishers. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's saying print. I yeah. know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm seeing it's that. also like the crowd that this question's being asked too but it's interesting like yeah. working at a bookstore with this question because trade has been down for a while like trade sales have been down across the board for every single bookstore that's true of but then you go somewhere like here and everyone's like physical 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 books and a lot of people do agree with that but we also live in a society that's so on the go and everything is being made smaller so i can totally see the appeal in digital books and it, i feel like it kind of depends on where you are mm -hmm. personally i feel like there's nothing like having something tangible there especially if you're going to give it as, as a gift you actually have something to like wrap nicely and all of that so that's i like physical we have books. one ebook Stephen, yeah. <laughs> Fantasy books for a mother who only reads thrillers. Ooh. Like a spooky fantasy book. Yeah, I feel like you've been in designers. That's all I can contribute to this party, but. I feel like Mistborn would be good for that. Yeah. Twilight by Stephanie Mark. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> it's spooky. They have pointy fangs. <laughs> pointy fangs. I feel like another one would be um, The Savage Song by Victoria, Victoria Schwab. Schwab. That what one, is that about? It's hard to explain. It's, it's like, like monsters and yeah. not monsters and there's music things. and Yeah, another music book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, there are like monsters in this world and there are like different types of monsters. And it's like the line between what is monstrous and what's human. 
and what yeah, which I love. That. <sighs> mm-hmm. I need she to does a lot of stuff that's like exploring stark divides, like even mm-hmm. vicious as good versus evil. Yeah, that's I what all of her stuff is basically. Yeah, yeah. I just I love when things are focusing on that binary because it makes you uncomfortable and you're like but no it has to be divided (laughs) i feel like we should maybe recommend some middle grade books no because i just picked one up that i think is so adorable actually i don't have it on me because i'm doing a video where i unwrap books that i wrapped for myself for a book haul so (laughs) it's already wrapped up (laughs) for merry christmas you know which one you wrapped it in I uh, no, I have no clue. I have no clue. They're downstairs under the tree because, like, it's a full-on Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> I was very good this year, so I deserve all the books that I bought myself. So That's it's amazing. down there. Hey, but, um, it's called Pages and Co. I don't remember the author, but it's about this girl named Tilly who lives in this bookstore with her grandmother, and she's lived there for a very long time, and then. From my understanding, they go into a book and she follows Alice and Anne of Green Gables into this book. So, like, it feels like it was written for me. It looks so so cute. And the actual book is, like, so carefully crafted. There are, like, things that, like, the text will kind of, I guess, yeah, I don't know how to describe it, but the text will be, like, falling. Like, every part of the book is so cute and it looks absolutely amazing. So, I'm very excited for that one. Not to be constantly recommending Victoria Schwab, but I'm going to recommend it again. City, City of Ghosts Ghost. by Victoria Schwab is amazing. They just released the title for the second book. Um, being a, it's oh, going to be adapted, right? What? Yeah. It's being adapted. Yeah, it's being adapted to a TV show, except they're, it's not middle grade. They're making her like 17 or something. Because yeah. yeah. it's like by the CW. Student. That's what I... Oh, yeah, college students, so even older. Oh, in, the book, like, in the book, she's like 13. 12 I don't remember she's really young um so that that book is really good and pretty spooky yeah. um Percy Jackson is always a, a solid I used to always get kids uh, coming in for spooky stuff too who solid series. are looking for stuff in middle grade so that one's a good one Shadow House is a good one I don't recall the author either uh, Artemis Fowl I just am I haven't about to read, read those them, yet but I was so into them like as a kid um because they're making the movie. movie yeah. Um and what else? I mean series on unfortunate events. That's a classic, you know. Isn't there that other series that I feel like a lot of people on booktube have liked? Is it called Nevermore? Oh, I need yeah, to read Justin that. Townsend. Yeah. Um the second book just came out. Yeah, I, I feel like think of what everyone's it's been telling me to read that and it's a middle grade series and everyone says it's really, really good. So mm-hmm. yeah. much like Harry Potter. I just bought the sequel Wondersmith. You read it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I into my coffee, but I made him read it. Did you like it? The one that was like, oh, your face I'm, looks I'm like you did to, not no, like I'm it. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> they, it was the competition. They all, all started to blend. It was a blend. competition. <laughs> Let me see that back. <laughs> Umbrellas. I really liked it. I recommend it. Another really good one is um the Land of Stories series. I really Ficus like Colfer. that one. It's taking like different fairy tales and making a whole new story out of it. I haven't it's read those ones yet either. I but... literally just had an eleven year old recommend that book to me. <laughs> <laughs> the same one who put it in my nails. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> to read that series. <laughs> it's really good. Okay. Where's the second one? It's right there. Okay. <laughs> remembers that he I'm likes. Gonna go read it. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, um, I'm trying to think of what else there is. Oh yeah, but... Coraline. Oh, yeah, I, would like, I, would have, I would have liked it when I was young, but I think now I'm just like, oh, it's like cute, but yeah. Oh yeah, um... that is my dad. People are asking. <laughs> yes, in, in my Goodreads channel or your Goodreads channel. <laughs> my Goodreads account, which is Zoe's dad. Yeah, amazing. I, um... I, don't, have, I don't have an identity. Who are you? all your fault you talk so much <laughs> don't blame him <laughs> so rude who can we blame then <laughs> you can tell me <laughs> where do you think she gets it from <laughs> emma that reader asks i need to find a good lgbt uh q plus book any recommendations radio silence radio silence yeah <laughs> that's the only one the only one um Simon versus the Homo Sapien. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we both literally <laughs> just said the exact same thing. Uh, um, yeah, an absolutely remarkable thing is so good. 
by Hank Green. You read that one too. The mm-hmm. the sci-fi one. Yeah. Everything leads to you, my Nina LaCour. I was just gonna say that one. I Nina love that is really good. Yeah. Uh, what's her um what's her other one? Everything uh, is okay. Something like that. We are not okay. We are okay. We are okay. We are okay. <laughs> we are, yeah. we are not okay. <laughs> You had a choice there, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, books set in high school or college? Mm. I need more books set in college. Yeah, yeah I agree. There's so many set in high school, but I know. But <laughs> but now that yeah. I'm like almost out of college, maybe we'll finally get more college books. I feel um, like I haven't read one that's been set in school in a long time. And maybe it's just because I'm not picking them up, but I feel like they're not being written with school in them as much. We need more um, new adult that's not just, like, smut. Yeah, I fully yes. agree. Well, because um, new adult really is romance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm going to recommend Radio Silence again because it's set in high school and college. So Perfect. <laughs> Two birds with one stone. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm trying to think. I feel like I, just I mean, fangirl, but I just yeah. want to keep on. That's the only one well, I've really read. There's Emergency Contact, but I don't like Emergency Contact. That book is set in college. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't like the book personally, though, but I didn't like others might. <laughs> I didn't you didn't finish it? Okay, well, none of us liked it. So. <laughs> <laughs> A Very Large Expansive Sea by Tahara Mafi is set in high school. Mm hmm. Um, oh, yeah, I'm reading that right now. That was the one I forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Lit. people are also recommending The the Magicians, and I've, I've seen... Is it, that one looks so cool. Is it also the one that they based the... Uh, yeah, TV yeah, show. the TV show, yeah, yeah. I, does anybody know if the books are better than the TV show? Because the TV... I've actually show... heard that the show is better. Yeah, it's so <laughs> So have I. I feel like I yeah. have too, actually. <laughs> you watched like was, all of it, right? I did. I did <laughs> all of it too. Yeah. I get stuck in there, you know. Also, they, somebody mentioned Discovery of Witches. Anybody heard? I mean, I've that, that heard, just sounds like a cool Oh, Deborah so, Harkness. Oh, Deborah Harkness, yeah. But you I were like that. watching The Magicians. You're like, it's so bad, but you kept watching it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it gets progressively better every season. That's not to say it ever gets good, but it gets better. <laughs> <laughs> I'll agree with that. <laughs> and, and even when they come out with a new season, why, why do we sit down and watch it? I don't know, but I am going to. The so. And walk away from the book, but the TV series, we won't. I walk away from TV series all the time. My special talent. Haha, <laughs> 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 bragging. Um, but yeah, um, Eliza and her monsters is really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. in high school. Yeah. College, yeah, college is hard. College is very, very hard because there's not. Very I literally many. have a note on my phone of YA books. You can't see that. YA books set in college. Oh, and that's, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> there's, there's just not a lot because it's like that awkward age gap. There's such an awkward age gap in front of the teen or YA, and then there's also behind because you go from like, especially because lately the category has kind of aged up. So there's a lot mm-hmm. of stuff like most protagonists are 16, 17 all of that but then there's no one who's really more than that or else you're getting to adult things no, and you're not 14 no one years younger old. Like, no there's never 14 year old protagonist no. yeah and that's all it used to or be 19. so yeah it's interesting now yeah. there's really like a lack of stuff ahead because you jump from middle grade to teen and a lot of times there needs to be kind of an in-between because middle grade is covering such a vast age range and then you have it's just yeah that was a tangent i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> no no um, from Dana reads a lot uh, body positivity books. Dumplin by Julie Murphy. I was gonna say that's the first one that popped into my head. I just watched the movie though and I cried my eyes out. The movie was so good. Whatever. Oh, um, girl, I haven't been yet. But... Zoe is cutting out. What was it? Undead Growing. Oh, oh yes. yes. Finished like it yet? Good. Um, I title. <laughs> it's right there. Um, there's yeah. a couple and that I, I've I, seen I, at. There's a couple that I've seen at work recently, but I haven't actually picked them up. But I know that there's, if I'm being honest, I don't remember the author, but um, that has a bigger character as the main character. And then we have um, Fat Girl on a Plane, which one of my friends read and she said it was really good. That was a great one for her. So those are not too. Oh, perfect. And people are in the comments. 
gonna go through here after we finish the live show and write down all of those people who recommended comments. <laughs> uh, so thank you all so much for joining us for this live. I hope that you guys got some good recommendations out of this. Um, obviously, this will always be up, so you can come back to it and watch if you missed any of them. Um, and people have been recommending some really good books in the chat as well, so that you can definitely read through that too. Um, but yeah, uh, next week, oh, our booktuber of the week first. Uh. <laughs> our booktuber of the week is Becca from Becca and the Books. I love her channel. It's so, uh, her accent is so great. And she's so calming, such a calming presence and just really enjoy her reading vlogs and everything. So we will leave her link in the description so you can check her out. Really fun. Um, so yeah, and next week we are going to be on Zoe's channel. And what are we gonna be talking about, Zoe? We're <laughs> doing a 2018 reading year in review. So just talking Ooh, about that'll be fun. everything that we read this past year, just going over our favorites, our least favorites, just wrapping up the year, having some fun, chatting. Maybe you'll be there. Probably not, because we don't want him here. <laughs> you were enough this week. <laughs> no, it was great. It was great. We loved it. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be talking about that next week on Zoe's channel. And then the week after that is the week of Christmas, right? So we're taking that week off. Um, yeah. And then we'll be back on hand. Do you yeah. do book, uh, bookmarked on Tuesday night on Christmas? <laughs> Maybe we can. Christmas day. We'll be there. <laughs> we'll not be there. No, just, you'll just be there with your Santa. <laughs> <laughs> you'll take over for all of three of us. Um, but yeah, so that is it for this live. Thank you all again so much for joining us, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That was a good one. Um, like I said, I didn't have a ton to add just because it's all recommendations. But um, yeah, I love watching them hang out. It's so funny. Um, also, Zoe's dad is great and I love having him on there too. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, I will leave the link to the original live stream as well as all three girls channels in the description below. Go check them out. If you haven't already, they're fantastic and I love them all. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to follow me on social media, all my links are in the description as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!